It drives me crazy, frankly, when a charismatic, a, a continuationist, a person who believes that revelation is ongoing, professes to believe in the sufficiency of scripture. The classic example of this would be Wayne Grudem, who wrote a, a significant book on New Testament prophecy, where he's arguing that New Testament prophecy is a kind of scaled down version of the prophetic gift. So it's often wrong, but God gives you messages in your head and you need to listen for them and all that. The whole book is about that, but he includes an appendix on the sufficiency of scripture. If you read the appendix, it's quite a good defense of the doctrine of biblical sufficiency. It, it's, it's good, I mean, he defines it well, he says he affirms it, but his affirmation of it is really nullified by the rest of the book. I often tell people, if you see Wayne Grudem's book on prophecy, read the appendix on the sufficiency of scripture and skip the rest of the book because he's contradicting the sufficiency of scripture to say, yes, God is still giving revelation. If scripture's sufficient and it is the highest authority, then I don't need or want fallible revelation that uh, is, in fact, let's be honest, usually wrong. When you hear charismatic prophets prophesy, most of their prophecies are wrong. By far, the majority of them are wrong. I don't see how that's any better than going to the fortune teller down the street or, or using the magic eight ball to decide things. It's usually wrong, probably wrong more often than your magic eight ball. And, uh, and uh, that it's a superstitious view of how God speaks to us. God has spoken, it says in Hebrews one. He's spoken to us through the scriptures and, and, and through his son. And, and um, th that's, we have all the revelation we need. To look for more than that actually contradicts the claim that we believe in the sufficiency of scripture.